everyone, my name is Caroline. Welcome to my channel. I'm a first year law student and today's video is going to be about how I studied for my law school exams as well as like a quick 101 on just what law school exams are like because they're definitely different from any exams I've taken before. So I did post a video of me reacting to my lost grades from first semester and I was very happy with how they came out and so I've had people ask me so I'm just going to share how I approached studying for them. Uh, I just want to say like obviously what works for me does not necessarily work for everyone else. I've definitely had to adjust my study schedule coming to law school and I know that other people who are successful did not use necessarily use my study techniques but I just know that these work for me and also two of the people I studied with also did really well and they used similar techniques but it's really just about developing a study style that works for you. So I this video is going to be more about how I study specifically for exams. If you're interested in how I kind of study throughout the semester so I'm not behind by the time I start studying for exams, let me know. So let's just get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we need to talk about is what are law school exams like? In law school, well at least in first year law school, the majority of your exams, if not all of them, are going to be worth 100% of your mark. So your final exam is essentially your final mark. Some classes did midterms, none of my classes had any midterms, so all three exams I took, they were just 100% of your mark. So it does take a little bit of adjusting to because you don't really have like a sense of how you're doing throughout the semester. You really only really know based on how well you think you're understanding the material. And so it's just really all writing on that one exam. But that also means that like you have the whole semester to prepare. Uh, the second thing to know about law school exams is they're not going to just be like, all right, what is the law? Like define murder for me. It's never going to be like that. All three of my first semester exams were fact patterns. And from what I understand, and I'm pretty sure my exams this semester will also all be fact patterns. So what that means is they give you like a long fact pattern, one to two pages. One of mine was like six, eight pages long. And you have to basically identify all the possible like crimes or all the possible applications of the law in that course. So for example, in torts, our fact pattern, we had to identify all the possible torts, all the possible defenses to a tort. In CIVPRO, we had a fact pattern and then we had to go over the possible civil procedure issues in that fact pattern. In contracts, we have to identify the issue in that fact pattern and say what part of contract law applies and what the likely outcome is. Something else about law school exams is that they are all open book, which is why when people talk about outlines, when they talk about having good notes, you can use those in your exam. So that's why I'm like, you can't really memorize anything or well, you don't need to memorize anything because that's not how the exam is set up you can have all your notes and still do poorly because it's about applying your notes to the fact pattern something else to know about law school exams which is why i really recommend getting the book getting to maybe is that like there isn't necessarily a right answer so you have to be able to identify a possible issue and then argue for both sides. So even if I say, okay, there is a tort of battery here, I have to also be able to be like, okay, but maybe they can argue that it is a battery because of this, this, and this. It's really important to keep in mind that you cover all aspects of an issue and not just what you think the right answer is. Um, I definitely took the approach that of like just putting as much information in there and like for both sides because it's really exams are a way for you to demonstrate your knowledge right and so if you just pick one answer and you just stick with it it doesn't give you a chance to show that you understand the nuance of the situation so that's what kind of law school exams are let's talk about how i study for them so the first thing about exams is outlining if you don't know what outlining is I'm not entirely sure how to describe this properly, but it's basically where you condense all your notes from the semester into one document, and then you just reference that document in the exam. So let's say all my torts, I was like, okay, that's a tort of negligence. I have the negligence tort definition in my notes. I have like different scenarios that I can apply, different considerations for and against that tort, and then I can all apply it to the exam. So I don't need to memorize anything. I just need to apply it from my notes. So you would have like basic rules, some like cases that you've studied and like the circumstances, maybe why you have the law. Um, like people approach outlines differently some people's outlines are only 10 20 pages long my charts prop actually just recommended us have like a very short one i am on the opposite end of the spectrum i think all of my outlines were like above 100 pages um, and that's just what works for me i like having my outline it feels like a safety blanket so i like having all the information on my outline so some general tips for outlining 
don't just take someone else's outline i highly recommend making your own outline i think i went through my outline three or four times adding and taking away information and because that process of making your own outline really just refreshes the information for you and it's like a form of review if you just take someone else's outline then you're just basically reading the notes off your paper and you're not like actively engaging with the content um so i really recommend just making your own outline but I would also recommend taking outlines that you know were successful. So I reached out to the people who did well in the courses last year and I was like, hi, like if you're willing to share your outline, I would love to have it. And then I would compare my outline to their outline. So if they had a point that I feel like I missed, I would add it to my outline, but I would never just like take their outline and use it. But I think other people's outlines are a good reference point of maybe like the basic points you should have in your outline. So my general tips for outlining are, I'd say go for length, but that is what works for me. Um, make your own outline and reference good outlines. So reach out to people who did well and ask them for their outlines. So my exams were the first week of December, kind of end of November. I started outlining mid-October. I'm definitely kind of on the earlier end. I know people started outlining later, but I just feel more comfortable having like started the process earlier. I really recommend making an attack outline. So with my outline being 100 pages long, I don't necessarily have time to go through like every page on the exam. And so I condensed all of that 100 page thing into like two or three pages. And on the two or three pages, I would just have what a list of maybe all the torts or all the relevant civil rules or whatever. And then like a really quick like checklist for each thing and then when I identified that checklist from the attack outline and I say oh I know that this applies I know where to turn to in my larger outline to find it and so the attack outline would just be more of like of me identifying certain things and knowing okay I have to include these three factors and then for like the discussion of that of like why this could or could not be this crime then I would go into my larger outline so I think attack outlines are super helpful especially if you have like a larger outline like me make sure you have a good attack outline Outline. So that's a little bit about how I outline. We can now get to the actual studying part. One thing I did was I would go through my outlines with a friend or two. Those were kind of the only study groups I did. It was basically we would take turns going through each point in our outline and making sure that we understood each point and kind of had the same, we were on the same page with what we were including in our outlines. All of my profs recommended that you try explaining things verbally to a friend, to a family member, to someone who may not be in the law school, because if you're able to explain things verbally, then it makes you, that ensures that you really do have a thorough understanding of it and then you're able to put that understanding on the exam. So I really recommend doing that. Just take turns going through different cases, different issues, and making sure that you both have a strong grasp of the subject. Similarly, I wrote through my outlines, like top to bottom, like five or six times. And like not just like you know reading through it but like actively engaging with it the first time i would go through all my reading notes and put them in an outline the second time i would put all my class notes into that outline and the third or fourth time would be comparing it between other people's like good outlines to see what i missed the fifth or sixth time would be with a friend just going through the whole things um something else that i did in terms of studying was practice exams if you can get your hands on practice exams, um, a lot of my profs have theirs uploaded. We have like a practice exam bank, but also some of my profs just don't. But if you can get your hands on practice exams, even without answers, they're super helpful because you know how the question is gonna look before you get it. And even if there are no answers available, you can kind of talk through the answers with a friend and see what kind of points that they got that you might've missed and what are some of the points that you got that they might've missed. So basically my study process consisted of outlining and then going through outlines with a friend and then practice exams so many practice exams and my final thing that i think that this is one of the most important things is when you're in class with your professor you'll notice that your professor will kind of highlight certain aspects of an issue um, more than maybe other aspects for example when our profs really emphasize like policy reasons for why something could be a tort and why something could not be a tort they they often phrase things that are very unique to that professor i recommend making notes of the things that your professor emphasizes making it way notes of the way they frame things and then putting that on the exam so like i wouldn't like verbatim repeat the professor's words back to them but like if you use language that they use they'll think that you kind of understand the topic as they wanted it to be understood so it just looks better so my outlines one of the reasons they were so long was because they contained points specific to each professor like it just makes sense because each professor highlights different things but like make sure you understand what they're saying don't just put it like don't just put exactly what they say and you don't understand what it is because they can tell if you're just putting words in like to, sh to like have them in there not like if you actually understand them i 
definitely on the dam when I wrote my exams went for length so I like word vomited everything I knew onto those exams like I left nothing out like it has to be kind of relevant to the issue don't just put something completely irrelevant but like that's a chance for you to show off what you know right once again these are things that worked for me last semester I'm already finding that I have to change up my study techniques for this semester just because of the way classes are so it really just depends on what works for you so just like a quick summary start outlining outline early make your own outlines um, reference other people's good outlines but make sure their outlines are from your professor go over your outlines with a friend just issue by issue explain things out loud with a friend do practice exams take notes on the things that your professor is highlighting the kind of phrasing they use and replicate that on the exam I don't know that was just me kind of rambling about how I study for exams I don't know if that's helpful I hope it is um, law school exams are definitely different from my undergrad exams and it like it's still very nerve-wracking to have all of your grades be on this one exam but like it worked out for me so yeah so thanks so much for watching you guys uh please like comment subscribe if you haven't i make law school related videos every week and let me know if you want like more information on how i approach studying during the semester so before outlining all right thanks for watching you guys